All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Life with the Loft Millers. And as you can see, today we have a guest, a special guest, uh, an artist from the album Songs from the Vault. Now, when researching this man online, things like multiple Nahoku Hano Hano award winner came up, Grammy award winner came up, um, band member from CNK, Olomana, Pahi Nui's, um, obviously Peter Moon Band, and of course, Country Comfort. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna use this word a lot on here, but I'm sitting with a legend. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Mr. Randy Lorenzo. Hello, everybody. Hey, you thank you for coming out. Thank you for having me. So we're <laughs> actually um, out here at Randy's place out in Volcano. Um, and we were just kind of talking before we hit record how beautiful and peaceful it is. So yeah. um, I want to say thank you for having me out here. Right? Thanks for coming out. It's a drive for you. <laughs> oh, it's, my wife and I love Volcano area, so it's beautiful. So um, obviously, we just released the album with uh, a song, Children of the Islands, on top of the Songs from the Vault album. And before I ask you about the song, um, because obviously I know it's an older song, one of the things I want to ask you is, what's the origin story of Randy Lorenzo? Like, how did you get into music? Um, I, I, I guess because my sisters, they, all, they, they play piano and, you know, and um, sometimes they needed a fourth part. That's where I learned harmony. And one sister would go, come here. And I was like, what? She goes, sing this. What? Sing this. I go, sounds funny. She goes, it's harmony. Just sing that. Don't sing that, you know. <laughs> so I got into doing that, and I saw that it made people happy. So, you know, that's the so-called career or something. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's my, I, I love music. Although I'm retired now, but which I'm enjoying. I do want to get to that um, in a second because one of the things that I wanted to ask is like, you know, where can people find you? So are you not playing? Not performing, not performing. Yeah. I just kind of, it's all this other stuff going on, you know, <laughs> elbows and all that other stuff, but it's just getting old and I'm kind of, Let's see now. Hopefully that's the right way to put it. I'm just kind of over it. <laughs> I enjoy uh, being able to go fishing on the weekends. I love it. You know, uh, just not having to worry about, oh, I got a gig. Oh, sorry, I got to go. For sure, for sure. And, um, and then after a while, my voice just started, you know, getting rougher and rougher. And I just thought, okay, time they just take a break. But, but I still, you know, I still do studio work. I just don't perform. Right. But I do want to point out that where we are right now, um, you are a part of a band, right? Because yeah. Because we are at the New Hope Church um, <laughs> out here in Volcano. And so you are heading that band. No, I, I just I just help out Pastor Ray. Minute. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I like it. It's right next door. I can just... So I enjoy it. I, I like it. I like doing that. And music is still a part of your life. Oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. will be to the end, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, so... Obviously, um, Children of the Islands on the Songs from the Vault album. I know that... Uh, Don't ask me what year that, that uh, got written. <laughs> so, in, in talking with um, Garen, who right. actually... And I want to point out, I really had nothing to do with this song. This was a song that um, I really enjoyed. And so, I used it as part of the album. So, one of the things I wanted to Thanks. ask is... You know, yeah, what can you tell us about the song? What can you recall? <clears throat> well, geez, that was quite a while ago. And then, uh, so I kind of introduced it to Garen and Garen kind of took it from there. And then I, we did the vocals at his house in Kohala. Um, oh, an interesting thing is uh, at the end, there's a harmonica thing, you know? Yes. And then Garen said, you don't recognize that solo? I said, no, should I? He goes, yeah, that's, he, the guy got, I, I guess I uh, did a scat on it. So he just kind of, the guy just copied the scat and I said, oh, I forgot all about that. Yeah, getting older. <laughs> well, let me point out, the song was, to my knowledge, recorded in 1995. Okay. I didn't get a hold of the song till around 2012. <laughs> so, you know, one of the things with this, the theme of this entire album is we all are sitting on music, right? That's just not been released. So, like, you know, Randy is a legend. I mean, Garen actually <laughs> referred to you as the Stevie Wonder of Hawaii. And, <laughs> and boy, do I agree yeah, with that. Right. And, and I think about all of the type of things that maybe have not been released or songs that have not come out. You know, once again, I received it around 2012. 
Is there more Randy Lorenzo music out there um, um, that yeah, hasn't been released? There is. There's a lot. There's there's a bunch of rhythm and blues stuff that I um, that I've done. I, I just kind of it's in my vault, I guess. Right. You know, um, most I, I would think most people see me as just the Hawaiian musician guy. You know, mm -hmm. but um, I grew up playing you know rhythm and blues and you know the old Sam and Dave stuff, soul music back then. Um, and then I just kind of, it didn't fade out. I was just working with people that, you know, like the Gabby Van and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was all Hawaiian music right. then. But yeah, I do. I, I really enjoy you know, doing rhythm and blues and stuff. And that's kind of been your writing style, would you say? Like? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I, 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 I love Taylor. So when it comes to acoustic stuff, I'm like, hey man. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, that is James Taylor and Mrs. Lofmiller and I, um, we actually, our son's middle name is Taylor. Cool. So the common thing that we are, cool. I mean, every, you know, every James Taylor song, every James Taylor album, obviously big influences on us and you, yeah. but I think that's something that also, you know, we connect on is that musical influence, yeah. you know, it, and it shows in your playing and your songwriting. I think it really, really, you know, the influence shows, but obviously you have your own style, like you said, rhythm and blues. Yeah, well, we all learn from our influences, you know? I mean, that's where we get our groove from, and like, wow, I like that. So you kind of, kind of latch on to it, so. And the groove is important um, because Randy and I's history, uh, I was actually a part of the band with Randy. We were in a few different bands over the years, um, and I, I want to say going back, Probably about 15 years, if yeah, not more. Yeah. That's when I thought you were a keyboard player. Then, wait, he's playing drums. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> I know we're a keyboard player, but but there is some videos of us online doing a couple gigs together yep. playing drums. Yep. And, and I got to... At um, the whole out there. Uh, yeah. yep. And uh, with Glenn, there's a video with um, yeah. Glenn down in Bayfront. Yeah. Who yeah. was another was awesome musician as well. And yeah. so, you know, I do want to use this time to say something really important. Like, we had a conversation once inside the studio, and you told me, um, I think, Ace, your generation might be the last to know the music of my generation. I think so, you know. And it really impacted me. <laughs> it really, really did. So I, I do want to say, like, you know, I want to say thank you, first of all. You know oh. what I mean? Like, I want to make sure that we are recognizing or giving the roses to those people, you know, while they're here. And, and Randy, you've not only influenced generations of Hawaiian musicians, but also me, right? So cool. I want to say thank you for allowing me not just to release this song, but to share the stage with you and to be a part of your music, which is also my music history as well, right? That's right. I want to say thank you. Thank you, Ace. Thank, thank you. you. Thank really you very much. Thank you. So... Unfortunately, you cannot find Randy Lorenzo performing live anywhere. Um, but, you know, I think that that's respected because you put in a lot of time and work. And like he said, music will always be a part of his life, just like mine. Um, but he's not doing any public performances. So what I want you guys to do is check out his song, Children of the Islands, um, on the Songs from the Vault album. And of course, get all of his music wherever you guys can find them online and support him that way. Um, and if you see him, make sure you send him some love out right. there in the community. So ladies and gentlemen, Randy Lorenzo from Songs from the Vault, his song, Children of the Islands. Uh, we just want to say thank you so much. Thank Randy. you, Ace. Children of the Islands, children of all kinds, living here together.